Hey folks, this is the World Goal Gamer here coming back at you with Scrap Mechanic. This is more or less a exercise in uh, some settings that I'm tweaking around with. I'm trying to get some better audio here because eh, it's been kind of crap here lately. I'm still dialing in the new PC, still dialing in a few of the uh, settings on some of the other series. Hopefully I got it this time. So we're going to check this uh, and I'm going to uh, not really do a walk through or anything but i'm just going to do a quick little build here uh i say quick <laughs> in relative sense of the term because it's going to be i don't know about an hour or so maybe for me and it's just going to be sped up for you so i thank you for watching i'll get back with you towards the end of this video <laughs>
it. This is, I don't know what you'd call it, an active suspension. Um, I didn't quite exactly get everything the way I wanted it to. I kind of, if you haven't figured it out on this one, I was trying to get it to where the, essentially like these would be the axles and this would be the body and they would move independent without the body obviously spinning around. Now, I know I didn't make it quite uh, symmetrical, but... I was kind of doing it like this as a, uh, like a survival design. Like you could build this in survival also. And I'm pretty sure there are competent builders out there than myself. But I was doing it like this so you could take, I don't know, for instance. Like that. So you could accessorize. Then, you know, put a headlight on each thing. Uh, I don't know, maybe put you a saw on there. But this was just basically a exercise and kind of noodling out some ideas. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure this design isn't anything new. And just about everybody out there has either built one like it or has one like it. Uh, and obviously way better. But the idea was, it's like a all-terrain vehicle. And you can see... The back's not flexing, so that little bar that I created there is just not doing its job. I probably needed to put it on, uh, mm, I probably needed to put that bearing on part of the back suspension there, and maybe put that other bearing a little bit lower, maybe. I don't know. But the front works up until the point where it's obviously not going to work and you can see the obvious issue here is i have nothing to keep the front end from completely spinning around but it does work until you middle it like i do you can probably build it higher and i'm not exactly sure what's up with the engines here um they're uh, I don't know if they're overpowered or if this is what they're supposed to do, but it gets a little bit floaty and you can't really turn at speeds. And when it does turn, you just look hard and go. <laughs> like that right there. I'm pretty sure that also has something to do with my spacing, but the suspension at least performs admirably well. And then sometimes it will get stuck and just sit there. But that's going to be it for, I don't know, I guess this quick little build video and uh, some settings that I'm doing. So hopefully whenever I go to check these, the audio will sound good on everything, including headphones and standard speakers. Or in my case, we watch a, a lot of YouTube on TV. Oh, see, there it goes. That wheel got stuck and it won't come back down. But I thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Support me on Patreon if you're feeling generous. Thank you. Have a good one.